Have you got any um, any of your injured players returning or any fresh injury concerns? Uh, it's going to be difficult this time. Sometimes I, I'm very clear, I tell you, this will be, this will not. This week is going to be difficult because, uh, like I told you, after the game we have some cases of, uh, I don't know to say illness, but they are not probably feeling 100%, but we still have two days. And these things probably tomorrow they come fresh and they are available for the, for the game. And But it's true that we have some some players in... in uh, let's say, in doubtful conditions no? to, to perform if the game was today. Luckily for us, we have still two days and we hope they can they can recover and, 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 and help us. No? Not uh, fresh injuries, not uh, nothing injury related, but it's true that we have some, some situations that we, we are dealing with them day to day. How many players are affected by this at the moment? Ah, it's difficult for me to say. Uh, it's difficult for me to say. Yeah, no, because uh, it, if I tell you and then they play Saturday, you will know. Uh, has been ill and probably he's not 100%, no? But it's true that we have, uh, we have some tears. OK. Uh, the, the game against Luton, uh, obviously the, the, the game here and the comeback was one of the, the best in, in Premier League history. How do, how do you reflect on, on that game? And can you take us back to half-time in that match and just what it was like? And, and I think... Uh, We've alre already played kind of twice against them, no? Even the, the first game we played that they didn't finish. And we could see games with a lot of chances, a lot of goals, uh, high ride them because uh, sometimes they go to mark to mark man to man. We go pretty similar and there are spaces, there are transitions. I think it's gonna be different because of their their pitch. They have the advantage that they play at home this time and I'm sure it's going to be difficult because it has been difficult for every game, every team that has gone there. And uh, they are also coming from, uh, from uh, I think, a very difficult schedule. The last two months they faced almost all the top teams in the competition. So I'm sure they will be looking forward to our game and trying to, to beat us. Yes, we have to be ready. Yeah. Ahead of the home game, Bournemouth printed Tom Lockyer's photograph on the front of the programme. There was a lot of awareness created for heart-related issues. Uh, do you think it's strengthened the bond between these two clubs? Yeah, definitely, definitely. Because you, when you go in a situation like uh, like it happened here with with Tom, uh, you leave football one side, no, and you you talk about other things much more important. And uh, I think there will always be a connection no? in these difficult moments when, when you are uh, together. I think also the history of the last years of both clubs that they've played each other in different divisions and luckily for both now we are facing the Premier League. And I, I, I wish them all the best, all the best. But the problem is we are facing them and we also need the points. We need the points and we want to win the game and it's important also for us, yes. Do you think it helps you this Saturday that they have, they are coming into this game off the back of two really difficult away matches against Tottenham and Arsenal, especially if if your squad is struggling with with illness? Uh, I think they've uh, not the last two games. I would say last two months they've been facing very very difficult opposition, very difficult opposition, and I think they've been doing good things, but uh, it's very difficult to win these top teams is difficult for them and it's very difficult for us, for everyone, no? And I'm sure they will be looking, okay, we are playing uh, at home against Bournemouth. It's a very good chance for us uh, to to put us in a, in a better spot. But we also are thinking the same way. Uh, we are coming from two hard-fought wins and uh, we want to finish the, the week strong and put us in a, in a good position because we also know that the uh, the other games we have until the end of the season are, are in theory, uh, really difficult. I know you obviously can't mention the players who are doubtful. Uh, can I just ask, what have you told them? Is it a case of they've gone home to rest? And, and what's the cut-off point that you're going to have to decide about about whether no, they're good? Most of the times the, the, the players take their own decisions. You know, uh, we cannot... Uh, uh, we cannot decide because they are feeling what they are feeling. Some 
they recover very well. Next day, they are fine. Uh, for me, the key is if they have temperature or not. If you have temperature, probably you will be two, three days with these symptoms, and it's difficult to play football with uh, with temperature. So it's a matter of uh, different situations. But I hope we still have two days, and I, I repeat that I hope we uh, we don't uh, miss uh, at least uh, more players. And just a final one for me. You, you've gone past Bournemouth. Have gone past the points tally from last season. How much are you delighted by the the progress? And especially in this kind of after the difficult start, how much are you excited about your squad and your team at this moment in time? Uh, obviously, we are in a good place. We are in a good place in the standings. I think we've improved a lot since the beginning of the season. Obviously, and we are uh, more solid. I think. Uh, we started the season conceding too many goals, and uh, once we've balanced this better, I think the results have been have been better also. No, because I think we've always been a threat offensively. No, we have uh, good players there, and and we normally have have chances. But once we've improved our defensive numbers, I think uh, the results have been have been better. No, but we still have more. Or games and we can improve and we want to improve the the, the points we have right now uh, knowing that it's not going to be not going to be easy.